to pull an image from the internet, um, convert it to a vector format, and then from there convert that to something that the laser cutter can read. Um, now I've already gone online and downloaded just uh, the Instructables robot as an example. Now when you're looking for something online, you want to try and find something that's um, a real clear image, so very definite lines, not too much shading not for this laser cutter. Um, and the larger the image, the easier the conversion is going to go. So you can see the size of this one here. Uh, this should work out pretty well. So we're going to go ahead and open up your image and embed it onto the page. Okay. Now, once your image is here, what we, what we want to do is we want to convert it over to a vector. So now we're going to click on the image and you're going to go path trace bitmap. Now in here there are a bunch of different settings on um, uh, you know how to convert this over. Uh, for, like for example if I do edge detection we hit update here you can see that this isn't exactly um, what we're looking for here. There's a bunch of breaks in the lines and this just isn't going to come up very well. So if we go down here to the bottom where it says multiple scans and we'll go by colors and we'll say we'll run it eight scans. So that means we're going to go over the image eight, time, eight times and create uh, eight different layers to build this vector. Um, remove background because if you don't it'll leave a white box uh, behind your image here when it's all done. So update and now we can see that this is this is pretty good. Um, the colors may not match exactly but the laser doesn't print colors anyway so it doesn't really matter. So we're going to hit OK, and as soon as it's finished, we just close this window here. So now you can drag your vector to the side, and this is the original image. So we're just going to push that off over here because we don't need that anymore. So now we're going to bring in the vector to the center here. OK, once you have your vector converted, uh, we want to change this to just outlines so we can kind of see what we're working with. So we're going to go down to the fill and stroke, and we're just going to double click on unset. And it should pop up this window to the right here. Now you want to set your fill to nothing, and then your stroke, which is just your outline, set it to a flat black color. Um, I wouldn't worry about the stroke style, uh, just I would go pixels and maybe a width of one will be all right. So now that we have our image converted here, we want to make sure um, that there's nothing we don't want in there. So you can go ahead and click on this guy and double click again. And it should, there we go, bring up all our points. Now I thought I saw some sort of hidden points down here, but I guess not. Have this guy here, I'm just gonna get rid of him real quick. Okay. So this looks pretty good. Um, if you ever want to modify anything, you can go in and actually drag out these points one by one. So you can get really detailed um, into customizing your image if you want to go that far. For this sake, I'm just going to leave it as is. So now that we have our converted vector, um, we want to scale it and center it to zero. So in order to do that, we're going to go up here and you have an X and a Y, and that's your image's position on the page. And then we have the width and the height of the image that's selected. So just to make this easier, I'm going to change it over to inches. And say I wanted a 5 inch by 5 inch robot. That was my maximum cutting size. I'm going to click on the lock to constrain the proportions so it doesn't get skewed in any way. And then I'm going to take my largest number here and change that to 5. And you can see that the width is automatically adjusted. but I did not select all layers here, so we're going to have to go back and do this again. So control Z, I'm going to draw a big box around the outside. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to change the height to 5, and the width goes accordingly down to 4. So now we need to move this over to 0, 0, because that's where your laser cutter is going to begin at. Um, so we'll go in in the X, just type 0, same for the Y. And now our robot is centered down on the bottom here. Um, after you have it where you want it and the size that you want it, 
where again we're going to select the whole thing and we're going to go path object to path now just to be safe you should do this um, every time you're getting ready to convert it over to the laser cutter format it just makes sure that there are no objects and it's all just uh, lines basically in your image so after we've done object to path we then go extensions laser engraver laser now the laser engraver extension does not come with Inkscape um, in the instructable I have a tutorial on how to install it um, and I have the download too so once we're in your laser engraver extension here first things first we need to set a point for where you're gonna save it to so just for an example I'm gonna get rid of this delete everything in your directory and then go to the folder that you're looking to save so I want to save it here when, it, when the conversion's all done so you click up in your address and copy the entire address into this directory box right here um, make sure the units are in millimeters uh, suppress all messages you shouldn't have to mess with any of this it, it comes preset uh, so now we're going to go over to laser and what you want to pay attention to is the um, the laser engraving speed now this is how fast it's going to cut your material so I go anywhere from uh, 1 to 1000 usually 1 would be more of a cutting speed and um, 1000 would be just maybe onto cardboard or something because it, it goes very very quickly and I normally increment that by um, by hundreds because if you do anything in between you're not really going to notice a difference so there's not much of a joy or um, not, not much of a reason to so uh, then pick the name of your file so I went robot and I did a speed of 100 that's what the S 100 is and make sure it has dot NC at the end of it the software won't automatically add that extension to the end or the file type and if you're missing that uh, your file's not gonna work so after we have this everything all set up you hit apply now this may take 30 seconds this may take a half hour uh, I've had it take anywhere in between it just depends on how complex your image is all right so it just finished up here um, after the extension is done you should see the color of your robot change here so we can close this window and what happened here basically is um, it's drawing all the lines and directions for the laser cutter to run so if you really wanted to zoom in and check it out this is just consists of arrows and different colored lines to tell you whether it's burning or just traveling um, you don't really need to worry too much about this all you need to know is that if you're seeing this it worked correctly so now we're gonna go over to our folder and here it is right here so robot s100 uh, underscore zero 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 one dot nc um, if you're seeing this file everything worked out and now you can move on to the next step of actually setting up the laser cutter and sending the file over